This is the only model we have for the male reproductive system. First, I'm gonna go over the parts of the sperm. Notice the brackets, it's really important to pay attention to brackets, because otherwise they're just a bunch of numbers on this model that it's hard to tell what's what, right? So number 17, this bracket here is the head of the sperm. Covered in, um, in blue right here is the acrosome. And then this is the mid piece or the middle piece. And then all of this is the tail. So that's easy. Now let's focus on this bottom part of the model. And first I wanna point out things you're already familiar with. This is the sigmoid colon up here and the rectum and the anus. Remember there are two sphincters in the anus, internal and external anal sphincters, right? This is the urinary bladder filled with urine. And this is the urethra that travels through the penis and on out of the body. Now I'm gonna focus on the path of sperm through the reproductive system, starting with the testes, because the testis, this is one testis. This is where the sperm are produced, and then they go into the epididymis, which is here. The testis and the epididymis are in a sack of skin known as the scrotum. The epididymis empties sperm at the time of ejaculation into the vas deferens. The vas deferens then empties into the urethra. At the base of the bladder is the prostate gland. Posterior to the bladder is the seminal vesicle. And then here, it's kind of hard to see, tiny little thing right there is the bulbourethral gland. These are the three glands that produce semen and they empty into the urethra, which goes through the penis and on out of the body. This is the glands penis. This is all spongy erectile tissue. And the glands penis is the enlarged tip of the penis. And then you can see down here that there's skin covering the glands penis and that skin is called um, the foreskin.